All right, it's time for Season 2, System Test 4 of the Potter PFC 4064 system. So anyways, let's get started. Listen! May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. While this is being verified, please leave the building by the nearest exit. Now, this is a system test request. I requested by, I think his name is T and D, G, T G and W Systems. I'm a I'll cut the video for a second so I can look, and I'll get right back at you. I'm sorry, my bad. This is a request by Cat421. I did TG&W Systems request last time. And so, up here for NAC1, he requested the Wheelock 7001T. And then over here for NAC2, requested the Wheelock NF. I'm here for first conventional pull station. He requested the Simplex 4251-20. Over here underneath the stopper, he requested the Simplex 2099-9756. We will be activating the key switch first today. We will also be activating the system sensor 5151 with a magnet. We will not be testing the system sensor 2151 in today's test. Coming up here, I've removed the system sensor I3 to make room for my speaker strobe that's on the main system. So I just moved my system sensor I3 over here. But I will be testing this today with the test button. To start things off today, we're going to go ahead and activate the 2098-98-6 test switch. We lock 7001T. We'll be doing continuous, and the NS will be doing we lock sync code three. So the strobe will continue to flash when I silence the system. And here's another feature that I have. I already showed my speak, speaker strobe on the main system, but I got a new MP3 board. That's and and which this speaker strobe is being controlled, and y'all are going to see the voice of act message in today's video. And the strobe is connected to the strobe circuit, so it will continue to flash. All right, now we're going to go ahead and pull and um, activate the system, the Simplex 2098-9806 test switch. Headphone users, I'd recommend you turn down your volume in three, two, one. The voice message, it cannot be silenced because it's hooked into my panel's alarm relay, which is non-silenceable. Right, now we're going to go ahead and re-alarm with the system sensor 20, I'm sorry, the simplex 4251-20. Here we go.
next up we're gonna go ahead and re-alarm again with the 2999756. Just gonna go lift the, up the cover and I'm gonna pull the pull station. Here we go in three, two, one. Next up, we're going to go ahead and activate the System Sensor 5151 with my magnet. Three, two, one. So I'm going out of it system sensor I3 and I'm gonna come down come reset down here with the enunciator. So I'm just gonna hold my the screw up to the test button and it'll activate the system sensor I3. Here we go. Alright, and to finish off the video, I do have a supervisory message also on the MP3 board, so y'all are going to go ahead and hear that. And to activate the supervisory system today, I will be activating the duct detector. I'll be doing it both with the key switch and with smoke saber on the head. So. Go ahead and turn, insert my key and I'm going to turn it to test. And, and this piezo will also sound. Here we go in three, two, one. Alright, and last but not least, we're going to go ahead and activate the duct detector head by just spraying some smoke. Here we go. Three, two, one. Should be enough. Alright, well, this is going to do it for System Test 4 Season 2 of Potter PFC 4064 System, everybody. 
Special shout out to Cat421 for requesting this setup. Be sure to check him out. Let me know what you think of the system test, and I will see you in the next video.